Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the 50th episode of the multiplayer RPG tutorial series. In this one, we're going to be continuing on with our magic system. And in this one, we will be setting up our animation. We'll also be going through adjusting our combat components some more so it will work better with system with our future systems. We'll be setting up an attack type enum so we can better uh, send those, send, uh, our attack types between each other and use it for uh, other things that we wanted to like our magic system I'll, I'll show you we'll be setting up uh, magic so we can cast like this with one attack but I'll also show you another method so you can actually use it your combo system with your magic which is actually really easy to do so without further ado we will get into this the last thing left to do in the final video after this one will be to set up the projectile and we'll be creating a fireball magic and we'll also look into other magic spells like healing spells and things like that later on but we'll be looking into a uh, skill tree and things like that and that will progress our magic so we will now get into this the first thing i will do is grab my test project pull it over here out of the way and now we have our project open. I'm just going to go into my animations folder and create a new folder called magic animations. And in here, I'm just going to search for cast. And then you could select all the what all the animations that would cast them. They should be all magic. And they're the ones that came with our sword animations and our shield sword animations from Mixamo. We can also use any other magic animations. And we're just going to drag our magic animations into our, our magic animations folder. Didn't need to fix up, but I just decided to do that just in case. I had anything from previous video or something. So now we have our cast animation. And the one I'm going to use is going to be this animation here it's going to be shield casting with the hands not holding the staff basically and I'm just going to create an animontage of that and in here we're going to go to one of our other animations we could just set them but we're running our stop animation or reset for setting up the way we want to. So I'm going to grab those. And if you want both your animations open at the same time, you can, actually, you can just right click and open a new window and it'll open up both the animations. So now we can just paste notifies, drag these over near the end, save that. And if we wanted our chain attack, we would also want to bring this in here to determine when we'll be doing chain attacks. If you wanted to use your combo system, so you had multiple different kinds of cast spells and you wanted to make a, a uh, more fast paced magic system rather than uh, casting different spells and different things like that. Then that's how you would do this. So you would want all three of these into here. And you just set your notify like right here somewhere when you're when you want a new spell to be in the blend into his new cast animation basically the same way we set up the attack animations for a melee but i'm just going to do it this way for now okay now we're going to want to open up our combat component before we continue in here i'm just going to close out this for now and this we will need those for a little bit we're using an animation notify to uh send our projectile so it doesn't matter which which uh method you decide to use the, the projectile will be sent from the animation itself so if you decide to use the 
uh, combo system for our clear magic. Um, so before we go into our component, we will want to go into our data enums and we'll create a new one called E underscore attack type, E for enumeration, and we'll create three in here. I'll do none. Light attack, and this will be used to place our booleans. And heavy attack. We'll save this, head into our combat component, and Just gonna find all the references of our light and heavy attack. First, I'm going to create a variable, and that's going to be attack type. And you just want to search for your attack type enum. And then we're gonna check if it equals light attack. Heavy attack. Don't need the two variables. And we're gonna replace these two right here. We're gonna grab, drag our attack type enum in here and delete these and set it to light attack. And I'm going to delete these. I'll we'll also set that to light attack. Because this is the first light attack and this is, that's your chain light attack. So now it's using an enum instead of our, instead of our booleans there and our light attack. We'll do the same thing in our heavy attack. We can actually copy this, control C and Paste this in our heavy attack and simply just place slows, delete that, and now our enum is checking if it's lighter or heavy attack through the enum. And if it's a heavy attack, we're going to be setting that it's a heavy attack. And we'll do the same thing right here for heavy attack. We'll come into our attack. And I want to make a few changes here. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to move this up here with our other enum. I'm going to drag out my stance and get that. And I'm going to get a switch. So I can determine the attack I'm doing depending on the, uh, the stance I'm in. So if I'm in melee or magic. And I'll plug this in like that. I'm just going to actually plug that in first. And comment this. This will be used to determine which attack will play. And then we'll be using our attack type enum. We'll get that. We'll create another switch. And 
Melee. Good save light attack. We're actually going to delete this and delete this. Remove that. Don't need those returns. So they're just doesn't matter if they're there, but right now they're just kind of useless. So now we are forming a lighter heavy attack. In our melee pose and also in our melee shield pose. If we're in the, either of these stances, it will it will check if it's doing a light attack or a heavy attack. If those are set in the enum. And that those are being set in our light and heavy attack. So right here, if it's a light attack, it's setting it. And if it's a heavy attack, it's setting it. So then the, the, once it goes through here, it'll check if you're in the, you're holding your melee weapon, which is when the stance is set when you pick up a weapon. And then it will check if you're doing a light attack, which is set here and here, heavy or light. And then you'll continue to perform a light or heavy attack. And we also want to go to our set animation. And we're going to delete these two. Set attack type to none. So we're just going to reset it back to none when this runs. And that's through our animation notify. Where we're setting our animation, which we put in our animation earlier. So that should be doing all of that properly. Now we're going to drag out of magic, or actually we need to set up our magic function or event in our weapon. So we want to go to items and holdable, master holdable. And here's where we have our light attack and our heavy attack. We'll also create a custom event. We'll call this one magic attack. I was just quickly looking at that to see what that was up there. So now that we have this set, we can simply get our character reference. And you notice, um, actually, no, it's not actually being set there. Okay, never mind, just ignore that. I thought I was going to set this to a private for a moment. We're going to go up search for our server play montage. And we're going to get our mesh. From our character, because that's the mesh we want to play our animation with. Play rate's going to be 1. And the montage is going to be our cast, but I'm going to set that actually in our data for our weapons. Item, holdable, or actually blueprints, data, data tables. We need to set it up first in our structures, so we need animations. And if you're using the montages, you can just rename these to combat light attack and combat heavy attack or something if you're going to be using just so it, so it's not specifically, specifically melee. That's just something you'd want to do there. Just rename, renaming those so they make more sense. But you want to get a magic attack montage for this method. I'm going to put it up here with our attacks. Save that. And now we can set it in our data table, like our other animations per weapon. So let's go to your weapon staff, animations, magic attack. And if you search for cast, you should get your cast animation there. I actually want to do one more thing in here. It sets a default slot. 
We want to use our upper body slot, which allows it to, us to walk while we're casting as well. So that's all we need to do there. And that's the animation set there. And if you were to do the, be using the combo chain attack system, you'd set however many animations here you'd want. So we have two attacks that you want to combo between or three, you'd set them all there. Save. Um, now we want to go back into our master holdable, get our item details, which gets access to our uh, structure for our items, which is being filled out by our data table here. So this is basically getting access to our data table. And I'm going to get our animation details, break that. I'm just going to plug our magic attack in there. Now we'll get the magic attack. And if you're using the montage system, then you will actually want to, instead of doing that right here and setting the new animation up, you would come up here and after renaming these two combat light attacks and heavy attacks in our animation structure, you just want to check your attack type. And the way you do that is get your character reference. Combat component. Get EPC combat component. Attack type. And then you want to get a switch. Now, when your magic attack runs through, you want to just run it through all these checks here. You can make it a little neater by creating a little pin there. And there. And this is not needed if you were planning on not using the combo system. It's using the normal spell casting, so you'd be able to set a spell per um, weapon for now, which we'll eventually change into setting up a spell per uh, spell selected, but we don't have spell selections yet, so we'll just be setting it to the default one in the weapon. Um, so this should allow you to, once you run through your magic attack and your combat component, um, you will run through your attack and you want to drag down Get your weapon reference, because you're holding the staff. And call your magic attack. And that will allow you to set your magic attack, depending on if it will, depending on if your attack type is light or heavy, so if you're left or right clicking. Just gonna double check to make see what I have there in my notes and compare to this. Pause while I'm doing that. And yeah, I was just thinking if you didn't want, we needed this for our specific attack, but um, I was just thinking if you were specifically setting up the combo system, you could actually just plug this in like that and it would run it for your magic as well. I would just run through your light attack and be checking your light and heavy attacks. But we're not gonna use that. So that's actually three different ways you could set that up. Two ways of using the combo system and one way of using the regular magic system. So right now we're set up to use our combo system and now we're set up to use the single attack. I'll just leave a comment in there, here that says note.
So now there's a little note there so that if you ever come through here again and you decide, hey, I want to set up combos for my magic because I don't want to have the normal casting system, then that's how you do that. It's going to do some testing and see what we have here. We have our animation set and we have our notify set. So it should be ending the animation. We shouldn't be able to spam it. There we go. We have our right and left click casts. It will allow us to pass for both hands. Um, I'll look into setting up multiple different spells. But depending on the depending on the button clicked, you would do a harder harder spell or a charged spell, basically. Just gonna go into a master holdable. Come with this magic attack. And in the next one we'll set up our projectile. We'll use a fireball for our first one. Um, that's going to be everything for this episode. If you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new tutorial uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below or join my Discord server using the link in the description. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next one.